Hello, we are here in Scunthorpe and we're delighted to be joined by up and coming band Suko. Um, I will introduce everyone briefly so we can all know who's who. We've got at the back here Ben on drums, James on guitar, Matt on trumpet and keys, Elliot on guitar and Felix on vocals. Uh, we're here in Scunthorpe in Cafe Indie and we're just going to have a chat about the music. You've got some exciting stuff coming up. So what might be good to start with is how did you guys form the band? I know that Felix and Elliot, you two kind of maybe were the, the grain in the middle, but how did you meet everyone else? We, we formed in Norfolk and then went off to uni, but stayed together. Um, I think it's been good because a lot of bands often are from one city and stay in that city, but we've kind of got legs in each different, mm. um, each different city. So it's probably meant that we play a lot more um, different venues and to Enjoy. different people, which has been nice. I think it's been good to get out of Norfolk, um, as nice as it is. There's not, not a lot going on, but yeah. <laughs> It's a real spread. It's, yeah. it's, it's mm. nice that it's like that. <clears throat> and speaking of being a spread, your instrumentation is, is quite vast. I'm always excited when I hear a band and they've got some kind of brass like coming through. It's excited. <laughs> was that something that was always part of it, or no? Initially, it wasn't. It was. Um, I think it was Ben who first contacted me um, out of the blue. I think just after we'd finished school in year thirteen, mm. and said, "Oh, I'm playing this band at the moment, and we need someone to play piano. Would you fancy coming along?" And, and playing the keys for it, so initially that's what I started off doing and then I'm not entirely sure how it came about but eventually I just started playing trumpet on some stuff and it's kind of stuck since really I think. Yeah. Well speaking of you know recording, um, it would be remiss to not talk about 2020 as a year and coronavirus and you mm. know, how was that year for you? Was it productive? How did you manage? I think for me it was kind of nice to have a break in a way and to just kind of take a step back and assess the music that we had already written and I guess ourselves and our live performances and just kind of get out of that mayhem of playing shows all the time um, and to just kind of I guess have a chat as well I think is this the direction we want to go in um, mm -hmm. with new songs where do we want to go um, obviously linking really well with you know the lyrics that you're writing and stuff so it was almost nice to reassess ourselves and kind of um, take stock and we, we probably used I guess the lockdown as a refresh um, I think we obviously haven't released since August last year we just spent the whole time um, writing new stuff preparing for um, you know the stuff we've got coming out this summer um, and into 2022 as well so I think it could have been worse um, and obviously you know it was so hard for so many people um, but yeah, I think we I think we did all right. With yeah. It, to be fair. But obviously the quarantine sessions that you did were pretty wicked, and yeah, yeah. very harder than it looked to do with all that kind of syncing of all the videos. That's, Whose that's idea was that? Idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was all of our idea. We saw other bands do sure. it. Like Blossoms did loads of things like that um, among loads of other bands, and we we're like, yeah, let's give it a go. Let's jump on mm. on the bandwagon. Really, uh, we always say we'd like to do some more stuff like that, and I think. The pandemic has kind of given people a new means of producing and getting content out there. So I think to do that, to keep doing that would be really great. Awesome. Well, hey, let's talk about the upcoming music then, because that is really exciting. Um, you've got a debut EP coming out, which is very exciting. Um, a Violent Deep Feel. Well, that's a very deep name. Where, where's that coming? Is that a name of a song or is that kind of some a lyric? Or? It is a lyric, nice. yeah, in a song. Um, it's from one of the songs uh, in my head and it's about just like dreaming of just like just escapism I think sure. um, and yeah just floating out on a lake mm. um, I love I love swimming and I think yeah it's yes you do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just like being out feels like calm mm -hmm. and it's about just like um, and it does, it also, it's not just that song, I think it does sort of describe the whole um, EP as being quite emotional. Really We've already heard it, I suppose, on, on the radio, yeah. but it's finally going to be an yeah. actual... Yes, yeah, yeah. It's been so long. It's been so <laughs> long with that one. <laughs> it's it taken so long, but it's, it's weird, it kind of, the, the actual what you're singing about helps me when I'm mixing it, because you're just telling me to take my time and it'll be fine, <laughs> it'll be all right. But finally, of course, gigs returning. Um, you've got two kind of in the pipeline. How long has it been then since you've actually been on stage? 
It's 2020. Oh my god. Yeah. Sky knows the date. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we all really, really miss yeah. that. Um, and it's a big part of it. Um, and you get to just like actually meet your fans mm. and yeah. enjoy it, and it's really good fun. But yeah. it's been great to talk to you, lads, and yeah. really yeah. looking forward to hearing the session Thank in you. just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Cheers.